Another big story today is President Obama addressing the nation uh, this evening, discussing race, relations, and policing. The town hall type of an event. It comes with these numbers on the uh, New York Times CBS News poll. 69%. Boy, uh, almost all time negative highs in terms of race relations and how the country views it. A level that we have not seen in the United States since the LA riots in 1992. Heather McDonald is here with us now from the Manhattan Institute. It's also author of the book, The War on Cops, which some people think is exactly what this is, um, this is turned into. What would you like to hear from President Obama this evening? Well, I'd like to hear some honesty about the most serious problems affecting inner city communities, and it sure as heck is not the police. It's, it's too many kids growing up without fathers who end up then terrorizing other members of their communities. He did talk like a little bit to... about that in Dallas, right? I mean, he, he would say, I think his supporters would say he tried to balance it out. Was it not enough for you? No, it wasn't. I thought it was appalling that after the assassination of the officers in Dallas, Obama yet again put out there the absolutely false narrative that policing is shot through with endemic racism. Obama should go back to his hometown of Chicago, where this year there's been 2,090 people shot. A full nine have been shot by the police. That's 0.4 percent. It's not the police and it's not whites who are gunning down three-year-old boys and four-year-old boys. It's kids that have been grow raised without fathers. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's well, the reality that we need to try and solve in this country. To that point, there was a lot of attention given earlier in the week to that Harvard study that showed that there is no uh, racial bias when it comes yeah. to police shootings. However, that same study did show that blacks are treated differently uh, by the police. More force is used. They're more likely to be touched or handcuffed or pushed to the ground, even pepper sprayed. So that would suggest that maybe there is um, some differences in the way the races are treated by police officers, that, that part of the study. Connell, no, that's not at all a proper inference to draw from that study. The Justice Department found decades ago that the most strong predictor of police behavior is civilian behavior. The study utterly failed to take into account rates of resisting arrest. And given the narrative that is so powerful in society today that the police are racist, it's no surprise that blacks resist arrest at much greater rates than whites. In Chicago, for example, blacks are arrested for resisting arrest and obstructing justice at 10 times the rate of whites and 100 times the rate of Asians. Okay, Heather, we um, have to wrap it up for now. We'll watch the president tonight and see how he handles it. But